All right, guys, welcome back to Dumb Thumbs FPV. I'm Dumb Thumbs. The reason it's called Dumb Thumbs, I've had massive surgeries here and all throughout here. So my thumbs don't work quite the way you do. I don't have the dexterity that you guys do, and my, my thumbs are actually really stiff. So I call it Dumb Thumbs. I have to run extremely high rates in order to fly and whatever not. So my flying is not the smoothest in the world. Trust that. Um, this here is the Tiny Leader by Full Speed RC. I know I've already done a video on this. I told you in the first video to stay away from it because it does have an ESC issue. And when I first got it, basically what happened is I tipped it upside down. I hit the couch within five seconds of owning this, by the way. It tipped up like this onto a blanket and it burned out the M1 on the, um, the 4-in-1 ESC. So I was like, Okay, you got to be kidding me! So I put, I went ahead and I try to get a hold of, uh, you know, I always try to get the man, give the manufacturer a benefit of the doubt. I try to get a hold of Full Speed um, RC, and I could not get a hold of them for two weeks. I mean, literally two weeks. I tried emailing them directly. I tried their Facebook page. I tried their website. I, I was getting nothing out of these guys. And so I did something I've never done before. I filed a PayPal dispute. Because, you know, this channel is not monetized. I, you know, this is not sponsored video or anything like that. I paid for this just like you would. Um, you know, no Patreon account. Not that I'm putting down anybody who has any of that stuff. I'm just saying I don't have that. So just like you as a customer, I, I buy it and I review it. Um, and so I, I, I did a PayPal dispute thinking that I was going to get at least an email, some kind of communication saying, oh, hey, sir, what's wrong? And I'd say, well, send me a 401 ESC. This one burned up. I got nothing except for a full-on rebate within an hour, about an hour to an hour and a half after filing the dispute. They gave me a full rebate, including the expedited shipping of 32 bucks. I, I, I was like, but no communications whatsoever. I was like, what the hell's going on? So they gave that back to me. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then two days later, I got an email saying, oh, yeah, we're sending you a replacement ESC. And I thought, okay, whatever. But I figured, you know, they're going to send it to me on the slow boat from China. It's going to take at least a month to get here. I, I just, I'm not a very patient person. Well, I went to the Facebook page, once again, the tiny leader, Facebook page, and there's a guy on here. I'm going to put his name right here. I'm going to give him full credit for this. He decided to get an AirBot Wave 10 amp 4 in 1 ESC and just modify his using that. And he said it flies a lot better. He burned up two ESCs. So, you know, if he's happy with the, the, the AirBot, then I was like, okay, I want to give that a try. So I ordered the 18 amp. I didn't order the 10, I, I ordered the 18 amp from, I think, from Heli Nation. And and it came to me, and I noticed right away it wasn't it wasn't square. I don't know why they do this stuff. I mean, they always have to do something weird, but it wasn't exactly square. Right here, where the plug is, it juts out, and it does fit in here. It doesn't squish the the hoop or nothing. It fits it, it's just very very snug. But with the plug on there, I can't plug anything into it. So I desoldered it here, and I desoldered it on the other side. Pulled the plug off, left the bare pads welded to the pads using uh, micro soldering techniques with a very sharp tip on my, my soldering station. And and I started putting the thing together. So what I did is I put the ESC on the bottom, just like a normal quadcopter. I put the VTX next, make sure there's plenty of airspace between them. And I'm going to be showing you pictures as, as I'm explaining this so you can kind of get an idea. And in here on the top, what I did is I, I wanted to mount the, the FC a little higher to leave quite a bit of a space between the VTX and the FC, because I wanted to put the RX, you know, the receiver in between them. The way it comes stock is just laying back here behind the camera. And then the antenna juts out the side here. It's really sloppily done. Um, I wanted a lot better than that. So I did that. And then, I, you know, you can see here, I just mounted it here. And I mounted it here. And I just made two little plastic, um, I don't know what you'd call them. I made two little plastic pieces out of this material right here and as you can see here what it looks like right here and that's how I mounted my FC I wasn't sure if any of this was going to work oh the 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 receiver antenna the art the radio antenna I routed down through the bottom here and then this is the only part that radiates on these antennas the rest of it's just wire so I put it out the back where it was supposed to be you can see here, and I also put a capacitor because with the 18 amp, you have to have a capacitor. I was going to put a capacitor even if it was a 10, but because um, I think they should have capacitors on these on these little stacks like this. This isn't a typical whoop. This is like whoop-ish. It's not a typical whoop. 
Um, what I also did from doing that, you know, by doing all of that and lowering the stack a little bit, I was able to take this back part here with standoffs and lower this back part. And what that did is it gave me effectively more camera angle. So right now it's set approximately, I'm going to guess around 30. Uh, I'm going to guess around 30, but I have plenty of room up here. So if I want to go higher 45, I could probably get about a 40 to 45 camera angle out of this. So I wasn't expecting much. I was thinking, okay, I'll put this all together and see if it even flies. And wow, you know, well, number another thing that's really neat by moving the, the VTX up, the button's right here. It's very easy to get to, unlike before it was on the bottom and, you, you know, give me a break. But the flight performance on this thing, guys, oh, boy, I got to tell you, man, this thing is just amazing. And I'm not embellishing that. This thing here just... Wow, it flies like a three inch. You know, I went through beta flight. That's another thing that they screwed up at full at full speed. Um, if you go into beta flight, they had the voltages set wrong for the battery. If you actually flew it a 2S based on the voltages they had set in beta flight, you'd end up effectively ruining your packs. Your packs wouldn't last very long. They had it set way too low. And then also too, um, they did not have the uh, dynamic filtering turned on for whatever reason. And they didn't have the right filters turned on either in the, in the profiles. So I was like, well, what the hell are they doing here? So I redid all of it. And, oh, man, I, I, you know, I'm showing you maybe a little bit of flight footage as I'm talking here. This thing is a rocket. On 2S, I love these batteries. These little beta FPV batteries, these little 350s, I love these things. I mean, they're not too heavy. This thing's already a porker as it is. I mean, it's it, even with the mods, um, it's not much heavier than when it came to me, but it's 73. So it's 73 running this battery, and that's that's about 20 grams heavier than the trash can, you know, with the bat with the same battery. I mean, it's it's a porker, but who cares? I mean, this thing flies. It it's so controllable. I mean, it it flies so damn good. I mean, I was so excited by the way this thing flew today. I actually ran home and, and I had to brag to the wife that I'm a genius because this thing just, well, I'm a genius. This guy right here who came, you know, the guy on the Facebook who came up with this is a genius. This thing just, it fixes everything. It flies amazing. And I'm getting three and a half to four minutes out of here. And you here I'm showing you the kind of flying I'm doing here, guys. I'm doing a ton of punch outs. I mean, I'm putting it to the test here and... I'm still getting three and a half to four minutes of flight out of a 352S as heavy as this thing is. And I had a five mile an hour breeze today. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm supposed to have 10 of these batteries here by now. I'm really, really ticked that they haven't showed up yet because um, I, I would have easily been out there for four hours flying this. I, I could have flown this for four, eight hours today and had a ball doing it. I mean, I was so happy with this, the way it flew. I was just like, wow. There's no washout when you're doing dives on, like, the trash can. Uh, the trash can for the value, I, I rated it a 9 out of a 10 because it comes with a case. It does fly okay. Um, you know, it comes with a case. It came with four batteries, the whole nine yards. So for the value, this, this to me is a 9 out of 10, okay? Flying-wise, I gave it a 6 out of 10 because it does wash out. It wobbles around a little bit. I think I can tune all that out. I think I can tune a lot of it out. Plus, you get some jello in the camera and stuff because it's soft-mounted here on the canopy. Um, you know, so flight performance, I gave 6 out of 10 because it is a whoop. So I gave it one extra point. If it was a typical quadcopter, 4, maybe 5 out of 10 on flying. Um, this thing here, value-wise... Uh, I'm going to go with a 4 out of 10 because the damn thing, you know, the ESC problems and the other issues and the way it was set up in beta flight, 4 out of 10. But the way it flies, I, I, I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it a solid 8. I had such a blast with this thing today. I mean, whoa. The way I have it modded, I'm going to give it an 8 because it was just phenomenal. Now, the funny thing about this thing is, guys, as soon as I was done with this, I, I finished up with this on Thursday night. Guess what came Saturday morning? A replacement ESC from Full Speed. I mean, really? So I'm not putting that in there. I'm not putting that in there. It's a, it's a problem. 
I'm keeping it the way this is. So, guys, I hope you see the pictures. If you're good at soldering, you got a good soldering station, which the 898D Plus, you can get off eBay for like 56 bucks. It's not my $800 Weller I have at work. It, you know, I just have a cheap one here at home, and it works fantastic. So just get one of those. And then make sure you get the right solder, okay? You, you don't want to get the, the crap from the hardware store. Get this stuff, okay? Get the proper solder that ele us electricians use, okay? This is Kessler. Get the proper stuff, okay? So you can see it right there. Get this. That's the proper solder, not the stuff you buy at the hardware store. This thing is amazing, guys. So enjoy the rest of the flight videos. I mean, whew. You know, one thing I will say, uh, closing here, I know this is getting long. Closing, uh, full speed, I, I, I will give you I will give you kudos for in introducing us to a 2S, 3S quad and, and showing that there is a market for it because I'm hoping better manufacturers, I hate to say that, but better manufacturers recognize that and start making whoops that are 2S, 3S, like Emacs, wink, wink, comes up with a 2S, 3S. And also battery manufacturers, wouldn't that be cool to have three, 300 HV cells that weigh 23 grams? Wouldn't that be great? Because this thing on a 3S HV pack, oh, it, it would be like sex with propellers, man. I mean, oh. But anyway, guys, I'm impressed. So that's my video. Enjoy uh, the rest of the flight videos. Thank you for joining me. My next my next video will be a backpack. I know, boring, snooze fest, whatever. But this is a unique backpack. This is something that's innovative, guys. Okay, so give it a chance. Give it a chance. All right, thank you for watching, guys, and enjoy the rest of your night. Oh, Hyper-focus my attention on you, baby. Selfish new dimension in my mind You're exotic like a diamond I can't shake you My sticky Aunt Jemima Sugar high Ooh la la Can I get a pure injection of you? Ooh la la I just wanna drink you down Ooh la la I'm telling you I just can't live without you I need you right now Cause you got me going Gimme, 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 gimme that loving Won't you yeah. let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get a cherry on top I've got this feeling in my chest The thump, the thump, thumping Won't you yeah. let gimme, 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 don't stop Gimme, 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 don't stop Gimme, 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 don't stop Hypnotize me like a cobra Girl, you're Charming, I caught you like pneumonia in my lungs Fascinated by your figure, I get drowsy Fingers on the trigger, I'm your gun Ooh, la la, can I get a pure injection of you? Ooh, la la, I just wanna drink you down Ooh, la la, I'm telling you I just can't live without you I need you Right now, cause you got me going Gimme, 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 gimme